see me keep looking over here, it's because my camera is flip screen, so I keep looking at myself. This is my first video, just bear with me. Whatever. Hey guys, my name is Crystal and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this Polaroid dress for my 23rd birthday. So we'll get right into it. When I first saw Saweetie post this dress on her Instagram, I just knew that I wanted to do it for my birthday. But I knew that I didn't want to do exactly like her, but I wanted to be inspired by her dress. I do know that she's not the only one to do it and there are a few other people. I looked up all the ways that it has been done before. Most people wore the dress, but they didn't have anything underneath it, so I felt like it was more revealing than I wanted to be. Because I, I want all my coins in my coin purse, if you know what I mean. I wanted to keep it modest, but also cute and fun and pink. Instead of not wearing anything under the dress, I wanted to get something that was body kind so it sticks to my body and doesn't make the dress bulky, but it also covers everything. So I chose to keep it white to match the Polaroids, but I wanted to add that color, that pink in there. So I added the boa to the top of the dress because I think it would be fun and cute. I saw these girls on Pinterest with the bow was on I thought it was just so cute since you're not gonna be showing your body anymore I wanted to add something else in there for you to look at also with the dress I wanted to do a collage style instead of just pictures of me like on Instagram you have your selfies your full body shoes and then you have your filler photos so I wanted to kind of keep that concept and add filler photos as well as my pictures I did find a picture of her with her shoes and I saw that they were just clear kind of like Cinderella shoes so I said okay well maybe I can add that in there I didn't want anything that would take away from the look when I looked at Saweetie's dress I saw that in the picture she had on a white wife beater her hair was up in front of out of her face and she had a few props and was just basically doing selfies right here ankle so I kept the wife beater idea I did slick my hair back I didn't do the hoops but you know you have your own liberty because it is inspired by her dress mainly I did decide to have a white background I don't have a white backdrop so I just decided to go out in the hallway in my house where the deep freezer is and I sat in front of the freezer and took my pictures you know when you're doing it at home on the budget that's what you gotta do I found these collage pictures on Pinterest and I also use Procreate to make two of the pictures. I don't have a Polaroid camera so after I took the pictures I downloaded the Nomo app. It's basically this free app where it turns your pictures into Polaroids. I wouldn't suggest editing the pictures before you put it into the Nomo app just because it does put a filter on your pictures. I'll show y'all the difference between the pictures. pictures I went to Walgreens I ordered them online now the thing about ordering from Walgreens is you can't use the easy photo printer app just go through the Walgreens app and I'm saying this because in the Walgreens app you can apply coupons and it'll work on your pictures now on the other apps they don't accept coupons or it doesn't work or whatever it just didn't work for me they were having to sell and they ended up being nine dollars instead of 17 instead of 17 for 45 pictures so i mean i think that was a good deal and if i would use the other app it wasn't accepting the code and i would have to pay 20 dollars no <laughs> so yes i did print out 45 pictures i didn't end up using all of them but one i didn't need all of them and some of them were repeat pictures i think i originally had like 30 something pictures and i just chose to duplicate some of the ones that i really like who suggest doing that because when ordering from Walgreens you have to be careful some of the pictures aren't going to be cut the same I did have a few pictures that were messed up like you see this picture the top isn't on it so it's just the bottom if you are using the Nomo app I would suggest cropping it the way you see it on the app is going to print out like this too you can cut them and get the little gray part off the bottom or if it doesn't matter to you I mean hey just keep it on it it's all up to you whatever you want to do then I went to Hobby Lobby and what you're going to get is a hole puncher it has 0.25 centimeters on it I bought two packs of them because they were 100 packs I didn't end up using all of them but you know I bought two just in case I did buy some rings that were 
24 millimeters. All together, I bought six packs of the ringlets. I didn't end up using all of them in the last pack, but it's better to have more than you need and have less than you need. I also bought the pink boa from Hobby Lobby. I knew that I wanted to find a bodycon dress, so I did go to Charlie Ruth and I found a Charlotte Ruth. Charlotte Ruth. Miss Ruth and I did find a bodycon dress and it was on sale for $5 because you know summertime is over so they're changing seasons so you probably could get a bodycon dress really cheap right now. After you have all of your supplies together now we're gonna get into making the dress. Took my hole puncher and I punched holes into all of the pictures. I would suggest punching holes in it lower because when it's so close to the end like that, it will break off like that one did during the photo shoot. Not too low though because then it won't go to the other pictures right. Punch my holes in, put the grommet in. You can probably use some pliers to make it stay in there better. But I just put it in there. You do want to measure yourself while you're making the dress. You want to measure the biggest part of your chest, the biggest part of your stomach, and your hips around your booty. Because <laughs> that's where the dress will be fitting. The way I made it was I did my measurements with a measuring tape. Then I put the pictures together. Basically, you just connecting the rings until I got the measurement of my body. With each individual row after I made it, I put it on the wall. I used some pins. I really would suggest making it on the wall just so you can save your back because it will hurt. But if you stay in an apartment and you can't use pens, you could probably use command strips and hook them to that while you're making it. So if you do try it on and you see that it probably won't connect in the back, we add another picture. With the bodycon dress, my sister sewed the bow on the top for me. As you can see, when she sewed it, she left certain pieces open. So it's not, it's sewn in certain places, but not all around. That's gonna be important during the photo shoot. So make sure that you don't sew it all the way around. You're gonna need those spaces later. So don't sew it all the way around, you're gonna need it. After you get each individual row together, then you are going to start wanting to connect them vertically. I'm gonna show you how to connect these to this. First you're gonna take your ringlet, open one side of it. Grab the first one. Right there, then connect it to the one above it. Connect it. To this one. And go down and get the first one. If you do it like this, it will lay flat. If you don't, then it's gonna lay to the side. I have to adjust your eyelids the best perfectly. So in the end, it'll end up being connected like this. You can pick them up, wrap them around your body, see if they fit. So you'll end up connecting the pieces on the end to the other ones on the end. But it really just depends on how it wraps around your body. So on my dress, this was in the front, and then all these wrapped around to be to the back. But it really just depends on how you want to make the dress. You know, you can make the dress any way you want to. Take my own picture, so this part of the video is kind of bonus. If you just want to learn how to make the dress, then I already taught you that, you know, you're good. For the backdrop, I did want something that was white, like Sweeties, but I didn't want anything that was completely white. I did like the white background in her picture because it showed the dress more, but for me, I'm extra. I like to do too much, so I wanted to add more to it than just white. I already had the vines at my house from a previous project. I do make flower mirrors, so if y'all want one, hit me up. No, I'm playing. But I do make flower mirrors, and I did have extra vines over from the last mirror that I made for my friend. So I did use that for the backdrop and also on the floor. You know how I told you guys I don't have a backdrop, so I bought two tablecloths from Dollar Tree. I just hung it up on the wall with the pins again. I would recommend stacking them because they are really thin and see through so you can still see the wall. But because I had two, you can see it as easily. I literally went to Dollar Tree to buy props. Like I got a birthday hat, balloons. And I also went to the thrift store and I found a purse. It was like $3, really cheap. So when I did the photo shoot, we did it in the storage room of my house. I do have a few ring lights that we were using and we were using the natural light in the room as well. 
So it was just a lot of light. I found some press-ons at Dirt Cheap. They were a dollar. Blew those on, did my makeup, did my hair. It was an old wig. Cut it to be shoulder length because I feel like short hair wouldn't take away from the dress. If it was too long, then it would be more focused on the hair. So I needed something short. I didn't want to do exactly bangs like her. So I did choose to do a side part with loose curls. The reason that I told you to leave spaces when you sew on the boa is because in the actual photo shoot, the dress fit, but it wasn't staying up where it was supposed to stay up. I measured the biggest part of my body because I didn't want it to bulge out too much, so it didn't fit at the top. I did use these to hold it up at the top. You can see in some of these pictures. I don't know what these called, but these little purses. These little purses gonna get you right. So make sure that you can see it, I hid it under the boa. It was wrapped around twice, so it was really thick and it covered all of this. So that's why you need to leave your spaces so you can hook your pictures, your body, cover the boa. Boom. After I took my pictures, I edited them in Lightroom. I do use Adobe Photoshop Fix. I really just edited them all on my iPad. My sister found the shoes for me at Shoe Department. I believe they were $32 or $30. I did love the shoes. They were really Cinderella-esque and they had the rhinestones on it so it wasn't as basic as sweetie shoe but it did give off the same vibe so now i'm gonna show you guys the pictures inspired you to make the dress make it modest make it cute have fun even if you aren't comfortable enough to show off your body like that I feel like you can still make the dress and still make it cute you saw how I had my dress underneath and it still accentuated my body without showing everything and I do think that that's important to bring modesty back because there's nothing wrong with being modest so this is my first YouTube video. I'm really excited and I have more content like this coming because you know, like I said, I did make this myself. I took my own pictures. I went thrifting and all that. So this page is gonna be mostly about faith, fashion, and lifestyle. We'll be doing thrift with me, vlogs, get ready, try to get closer to God. I am a Christian. So I'll be doing faith videos and just everything. So if you like that, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, and you know, let's be friends. Let's be cool. Be bestie.